Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Premier League uh, review. I hope the sound this time is good because I saw my Bundesliga review. I had not turned off the noise cancelling mechanism so I sound like a robot more or less. Yeah, go check it out if you want. It's horrible. But I didn't want to reshoot it. Okay, Premier League. Uh, actually, I, we probably have to talk about first before we go into everything. And you saw already it's the end of the road for another manager. We had quite a few new managers uh, being appointed. And, um, kind of this uh, third international window was kind of used. We had already Conte come 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 in, in before. Then we had the uh, sackings at Villa where Dean Smith was ousted. Immediately taking the job uh, at Norwich. Uh, and interestingly, the last game at Villa, he played to, to Southampton. First game at Norwich, he also plays against Southampton. Um, successfully so, you see Norwich up there. Uh, and the vacancy was filled by Steven Gerrard coming from Rangers, which is his first Premier League appointment. Uh, everyone kind of says it's pointing towards a Liverpool job sooner or later. Let's see about that. Um, however, and then we of course had, I think I already said, let's say Eddie Howe taking over the job at Newcastle. So those are uh, the big things. And kind of surprisingly, uh, to me at least, because um, nah, I shouldn't say surprisingly, but I thought that, you know, um, if you have a plan in place, this international break is the perfect spot where you could maybe look out for a manager. Uh, or have, have someone lined up, but Ole Gunnar Solskjaer stayed in the job over the international break. Did not help Manchester United. Uh, but we'll talk about all that. I honestly, I'm getting tired of talking about Manchester United, but I will have to say something again, uh, as it's the biggest team uh, in England in many ways. At least media-wise. Uh, you know, For my generation, they were the biggest team. We'll start, however, with a replay of the FA Cup final, which was not really competitive. Leicester City falling to Chelsea. A uh, really beautiful second goal by Conte, which must have hurt uh, Leicester fans because, you know, he was the part of the championship winning side. Um, given all the injuries that Leicester have and also, you know, maybe it's getting a little bit tired and everything. I don't think we see another Leicester miracle. And I have a feeling that, you know, Will Brandon Rogers stay longer? Let's see how the season uh, develops. But you know there are probably some clubs uh, further up north that would like to have him take over. Let's see about that. Uh, as, as I said, Gerard got the first win. Villa 2-0. I actually saw highlights of Burnley against Crystal Palace. An almost perfect 3-3. I mean, a lead change is galore. Benteke gives Crystal Palace the lead. Then uh, me and Wood turn to turn around. But before the half, uh, Crystal Palace turned around with Benteke and Guehi. Um, making it 3-2. Right after that, Cornet makes it 3-3. And then you really think this... But there the will be more goals. And I think Crystal Palace even hit the uh, vote work, but it was not to be, but a uh, 3-3 game. And it was not the only 3-3 game, because also Newcastle on the first uh, job under Eddie Howe makes a 3-3 against Brentford, where I haven't seen much. But however, this result paired with Norwich uh, City winning over Southampton means that the richest club in the world, supposedly, is now less in the Premier League standings. Um, it might be a snapshot. It may be a sign of things to come. Maybe Newcastle really need to rebuild from the, uh, the championship up. However, I think the result that caused the most shockwaves, and it's uh, it's a little bit weird given that there was a Liverpool Arsenal matchup, there was City against Everton, you know, uh, kind of heavy, um, uh, big name matchups, and also Leicester against Chelsea, but it's Watford's utter destruction of Manchester United. And that comes with uh, Ismail Asar missing two penalties in a row. I mean, one had to be retaken. Uh, and they, they completely taking Manchester United to town. Uh, with King and Saar scoring the first two goals. Saar even apologizing. I, I should have scored the penalties. Uh, but it could have been a much, much, much bigger um, scoreline. Van der Beek, of all people, after Ronaldo assists, that sounds so weird, uh, makes uh, pulls one back, but then Captain Calamitous Maguire um, gets uh, a kind of stupid second yellow card. It's a yellow card all, all day long. 
uh, he says, 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 says that often then Watford uh, really uh, put it on in extra time with Pedro and then he's making it a comfortable 4-1 win that was every bit as comfortable and it's the end of the line for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer uh, a word something that uh, you know <sighs> After, after after the game, Bruno Fernandes said, "Now don't blame him, blame us, blame blame us. Yeah, but show up, show up during the game, not then take it because he's a very comfy manager. Then even uh, I think that they interview him on Manchester United. He just got sacked, and then he has to do an interview. Does it? Does it doesn't make any sense? But what really doesn't make any sense to me? There was no succession lined up." For a major club like Manchester United, what is going on? I mean, the statement said, okay, we let go uh, of all the, all the consortium. Michael Carrick, I think, who was the co-trainer uh, to Solskjaer, is taking over. So basically, there's no change. And then we are looking, meanwhile, for an interim manager. Before we know uh, to the end of the, of the season, then we appoint a big one. Give me a break. The interim to the interim, and then the interim wins five games uh, in, 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 in a row and gets another five-year contract and you pay out. Mismanagement. This is the face of mismanagement. Yes, there are no big names out there. Zidane is not going to come. Absolutely not. There are no real big names out there. So if you want to get a big coach, you need to buy one out. And maybe you're just wait, 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 waiting around that Pochettino is getting sacked. Could be. Um, I said it before. Uh, I think the biggest name that's out there, but I don't think he will come, is Ralf Rannick. But I don't think Ralf Rannick will come. Um, I think he... That's not to his... That's not a job to his liking. Uh, but, you know, who knows, who knows. He wanted to have all power at Milan as well. Uh, so for me, that's the biggest name. Not seen it in Zidane, but Ralf Rannick, because he's kind of a... Don't go for the Ajax guy. Should know his name now, but doesn't count. I don't think Ajax managers travel well, and I think uh, there's a system in place that makes him successful. At Manchester United, there's no system in place, except you have uh, Donny van der Beek there, who then might suddenly become the star of the side. So, yeah, uh, it's a shambles. Wearing Wolves, they make a big win over West Ham, and Wolves is slowly, slowly, slowly getting a cracking. Uh, and West Ham United, that actually uh, stunned me that result. Jimenez scoring uh, the winner. It's almost an afterthought because it was almost expected. Uh, Arsenal had a good run up until they play against Liverpool. Boom! Liverpool rolling over. It took a while. But once Liverpool got rolling, there was no looking back. Mane uh, in the first half, and then Diogo Jota, Salah, and Minamino scoring uh, the goals. And yeah, Arsenal is a little bit packed back again. And I do think they have something growing, but they will not challenge for any of the big uh, teams at this very moment. Manchester City also did not have real trouble against Ever Everton. However, the first goal by Sterling just before for the half, what an amazing pass by Cancelo to make it, uh, uh, put it into Sterling's way. And also the goal in 55th by Rotary, uh, what a screamer. Then kind of the game fizzled out and it ended with a 3-0 uh, defeat. And then Antonio Conte also gets um, a win. Conte celebrating like they won uh, a cup final or, or, or over there. But you know, that's Conte for you, always under electricity uh they actually were down at the half uh to leads and leads yeah we have to ask questions are we worried about leads maybe maybe maybe, maybe not uh Heuberg then equalizes and immediately yeah we need to get going we need we need we need to get get going and then uh, region after i think a deflected dire free kick just uh, taps it over the line and spurs comfortably kind of run away Winners, I honestly think this counter pointer for Spurs might eventually pay dividends uh, in securing at least a Europa League spot, I would say. So yeah, up top, not much uh, has changed. I'm just looking over the neck. I mean, we have a Chelsea-Manchester United game, which uh, is a big deal, but I don't expect it to be. I think Arsenal against New with Newcastle could be interesting as well and Manchester City against West Ham. West Ham has been a little bit um, a team that has been bugging uh, City for a while. For every everything else please see the stats case as I said Newcastle are not bottom but they're still not expected to, to be bottom. They're still down to Norwich but uh, we gotta see. 
In any case, please add anything you would like uh, to this round. As I said, I saw only highlights, um, not too much. So you may surely have to add some something. Drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.